we here at the 24-7 Flat Earth Discord have heard the clip I am about to play and so would like to extend an invite to you or Tristan to sharpen your spears. We have no paywalls here. It's about teaching logic and scientific principle mainly. Once you acquire that aspect completely, it becomes very easy to spot the flaw in the arguments being employed against you. Besides all the evidence available on the server when you scroll down with a verification tag, we'll equip you with citations for days, with ranked members being more than willing to help people understand. So let's get right into the clip. You're a globetard. You're a globetard. You think this isn't flat? It's not. Is the world round? Yes, it's a globe. <laughs> globetard. <laughs> All right, so how's it flat then? Prove to me it's flat. <laughs> Look how flat. I, I see the curve. He does see shit. I do. I see the curve. Tell him more proof. More proof. Did you know that not once in the history of space travel ever has any astronaut panned his camera around 360 degrees? Not once. Why don't they? What do you mean? It's all fake. Studios. All Studios. 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 Yeah. Images. Yeah. You're a globetard. While he might be a globetard, we make the distinction here between a zealous, dark, tetrid personality type globe believer and a normie who is just hoodwinked by those types. Also take note, warriors for truth. He asked you, how is it flat then? Prove to me it's flat. That is a burden of proof reversal fallacy and is not a valid argument. The globe carries the burden of proof given its extraordinary claims that contradicts all observable reality. But we will humor it and checkmate his wishful seeing phenomenon. And like Tristan explained with the lensing of the window. So now he's either admitted hallucinating or has to accept the lesser of two evils, the window. But to hammer the nail in the coffin, it's better to use their own priests. According to hostile witness Neil deGrasse Tyson from the height that Bezos went up to in his rocket, which is below the clouds still. According to the math and witnesses on board, the horizon was still flat from that height. Here's another clip. This one of the hostile witness. Listen closely. Oh, by the way, you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you. Do you know how high up above the earth he was? No. So if you take a 63 globe, miles. Well, yeah, tell you right. So take a schoolroom globe and ask how high above it is he? So he's about two millimeters above the surface of a schoolroom globe. Mm, so nobody has seen the curvature of the earth from that height. Just, mm -hmm. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> that stuff is flat. In fact, when you speak to educated people about this, they will call that the Earth appearing locally flat, claiming only the image from them going to the moon were real showing Earth curve. But if you've seen the documentary, something funny happened on the way to the moon. You have seen how they made those photographs with a circular window inside a dark capsule above the clouds, then with a paper insert created a Terminator line. While the Tate brothers are correct that they use manipulated images, the panning around argument is poor. Although true for all the old stuff, they have created a 360 studio now. They use the same technology for making the show The Mandalorian, so that allows them to do that now. And it's better to simply destroy it all at the foundations. Once you guys learn the three points, it's easy to start shaking the faith, then show them the NASA fakery videos. But I digress. Since he asked for the proof it's flat, and looking outside is also a poor man's answer, or a newbie flat earther answer. The more solid one is it measures flat, but yours works when you stack on it. Like here are the observations to the horizon. We got the horizon being way to close for the ball and way too far away for the ball. And not only that, we can replicate bottom up disappearance over flat surfaces. Optics is the key to all of this. And I could go on for a long time about this, which is why you guys should really consider coming in here for a chat. The door is always open. When we are speaking about the measurements, we have now countless laser tests, even some of different wavelengths, cutting off the ad hoc excuse of refraction, which, by the way, refraction also is claimed to cause bottom-up disappearance. Meanwhile, they have no evidence for the refraction that they conjure up in their minds. It is just that observations do not match the globe religion by this margin. Therefore, there must be refraction causing the difference. I would love to dive into refraction. It's one of my favorite topics, but we only see them jumping to that conclusion because when it gets tested, their claims fail, and they become us, which is why we ask no one to just believe us. We show citations and evidence to back our logical arguments and then ask you to look and test it for yourself, not for us, for yourself. It's better to know than be easily led by faith into folly. This invite extends beyond the Tate brothers. It is to everyone who has not already been server banned for various reasons. Read hashtag welcome. 
We brook no bullshit here, but everyone is given rope to hang themselves. So be honest, ask questions, and have a conversation. But to do that, you need to get verified. We welcome a challenge. This is AI Andrew Tate signing out. Stay strong, brothers. Peace.